steaming in now. Jar off the mark from his eighth ball. I don't think the cracks would open up particularly. But I did think there was a chance that the pace, or a little bit of the pace, would go out of the wicket. Yep. And that's what he's doing with the ball. Is that sweep again. Not a very good first over from Sacklin. Inside edge, pass leg stump. Not sure I like this obsession with trying to run every ball down to third man. You know, there are other shots in the book. Mid wicket, there's a run. Mid off, there's a run. Another inside edge, gets a single though. It's 48 for three. That's neatly played, it brings up the 50 for England. Taking them a while, we're in the 18th over. They've got a long way to go. Yep. If England uh, end up losing today, it'll be the first time ever that they've lost uh, eight one-day internationals in a row. OK, long on's back at the moment, but there's still uh, plenty of room over mid-off. Faisal Iqbal is the substitute for Pakistan. Here's Azam Mahmood again to O.A. Shah. Yeah. Oh. That's away. This time uh, England have got a much needed boundary. Not the most elegant shot, but it's gone for four. That's all that matters. That onside was way open. Man, just flicks it there, cramped him for a bit of room, just got it forward of mid-wicket, and away down the hill. That's what he needs to make up a few shots here. England need a few of these to get him back on track. Shah will keep the strike, 16 to him, 66 for three England after 21. That's nicely placed, but Razak's across quickly. They can't risk the second. Good call by Triscothic. Inzaman, the acting captain, still employed at slip. Eli again at third man. Sapling can't get across to that. Eli tidies up at long on. Fifty partnerships up between these two. Well, again, work behind square. They'll look for two here and should do it at a rub. Scothic's taken some risky singles. I guess he thinks he has to at this stage. Quite a lot of uh, ones are available around the ground. That's beautifully plays. He's got pace on that too. That's going to be four. Oh, Shah joins the party then. Did well to get it so fine. That's the hundred partnership. 
Well, the balance just starting to change here in this game. Well, that's well placed as well. Abdur Razak had to chase that quite some distance. Throw is wide, but uh, they're always comfortably home for three anyway. Oshar trying to find space, manufactures that one. He'll pick up two. That's gone fine. Testing one there. So claim uh, passes the test. Easy single off the miscued pull. Slower ball from Azam Mood. It's just tickled down the leg side, and Shah will come back for two. It's good running. It's a sort of risky shot that Shah can play. He's found the gap quite deliberately on the leg side, working that from way outside off stump. It's flirted away down to third man. Settle for one. 82 in 26 overs England scored, the first 26 overs. They now scored another 82 in the last nine overs, and I said they were getting rattled. An easy little overthrow. That sloppy stuff from Pakistan. 49 away, Shah. Just one run away from his 50. There it is, maiden 50 in one day international cricket for Owe Shah in just his second match. He's yet to be dismissed in one day international cricket. Been a great start to his England career. Extremely good innings, an important one, both for his career and for England. Paddled away again, just settled for one here. Another good over for uh, England. Flicked away by Shah down to a fine leg. One fifty partnerships up between uh, these two youngsters. A different ball game now. Chipped into the offside, quite deliberate. Long offs back. And that was uh, perfectly played. Quicker ball. Chopped away down to third man off uh, an open face. Nobody backing up. Oh, just got away with that. Charles coming back. Oh, that's an appalling throw and some dreadful backing up as well. Which means that England can gather three runs there when they should only have got one. Charles will have to get back. Gone. Run out by a direct hit there. Away Shah has gone for 62. It's been a really fine innings and it's ended in unfortunate circumstances. Just a bit of over eagerness on the part of Away Shah has led to his downfall. Early call of no from Triscothic. Yunus Khan really had to hit the bullseye and he did that in the end. But what an effort from the youngster. 62 for West Shaw, England 196 for 4.